so I saw my paper towel after I had tapped off my brushes for my last project. And I was like, this inspires. To my tea party, I had added a bow, remember? Did you see the pictures? Did you check the link? Did you come to the tea party? If not, I'll drop it down and down and down and down the rabbit hole into the comments. So now, we're going to go further with these candlesticks, which was my original intention, to make them all different layers of color. We're going to use Debbie's DIY paint. So I put some mermaid tail on, and then I thought, that's a little more intense than I want to do. So I spritzed it with some water, and just that little tiny amount, I was able to do all of this area, and it made it more of a pastel mermaid tail. I'm going to show you my windstone painting technique where a little dab will do ya. So I'm just going to dip, just dip it in between these. And then I'm going to dip it in my water. That's it. That's it. Then look how intense the color is. Now it is a pastel lighter version because it's watered down. Still, it covers so much. I love this thing. And then I dry brush this area to stick a little extra of that mermaid's tail and dry brush it on. And this is what we have so far. Now I thought it would be fun in this portion of the video to have you all scream. No! You ruined it! Because sometimes when I'm painting, I'm like, eh, can I press it and do that? And, eh, what's it? Oh, oh, no, I don't like that. And then I'm like, okay, let's just keep going and work through it. And then eventually we get through that messy middle. You can't press the undo button. You didn't ruin it. It turned out okay.
maybe it turned out better than okay. How do you know? How do you feel about it? And then I changed my mind. Of course I did. So I decided the next day I was going to do a little finger painting with this clean bead. I was going to make these little, they're little raised dots, for lack of a better word. I'm going to make them stand out. So I just gave them all a little tap of yellow. And guess what? It's okay. You know, maybe you like it, maybe you don't, because you change your mind. It's too bright. So I toned it down with some white swan. <sighs> maybe I overthought this area. I don't know. It's like the only area I kept going back to. So I wiped on some white swan and then I wiped it off to make it more distressed. Toned down that queen bee, cause that was straight up, straight from the can. Then I decided to try the old 57 and highlight them that way. And honestly, I liked it better. Story time! This is Gimli. He likes to play hide and seek. He also likes Taco Tuesday. He also likes to get out of his cage so that you have to go find him. And he likes to hide in my classroom for some reason. Maybe he likes to see what I'm working on. Yo, Mama, what you working on? So while I was waiting for him to come out of his hiding spot, even though I knew where he was hiding, I can see you back there. Just because I can't reach you doesn't mean I don't know where you are. I saw the candlesticks. I saw the washi tape. And I thought, hmm. So I put a ring around it. And the next day I came back and I put more. Put a whole bunch of washi tape on, including one Pioneer Woman wall decal that I still have. Here's how I put that washi tape on. Check it out. I did speed this part up, but take your time. I think that's looking pretty snazzy.
and then to fill in where the candle's supposed to go, I just did a little watercolor dropping. I just dropping little bits of paint that is watered down just slightly and just drip, drip, drip and blend just slightly. Don't over mix it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this transformation of the candlesticks from the, I don't know, in my opinion, the expensive, boring ones to these colorful, pioneer woman inspired, fabulous colored, they are just, I think they're really cool. Well, maybe I'm a little biased, but mm, so be it. Bye.